Hello everyone, today is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install Toco VoIP and TeamSpeak. So what you want to do is go to teamspeak.com, go to downloads, and then click the 64-bit download, and then save it into your uh, drive. Uh, once you've done that, then you will then have the executable file uh, here. Yes. Uh, it will unpack all the resources that it needs to install to your computer. Um, I have already got TeamSpeak installed, so it may look a little bit different to you. It's absolutely fine. Scroll down, read the terms of service, click next, install for just me, select a drive letter, mine's the S drive, next, next. Uh, choose if you want to install Overwolf. It's basically an in-game overlay like Discord. You don't need it. Run TeamSpeak once it's done. First thing you'll want to do is you want to go to self sound pack and then click sound deactivated this will stop the join uh, leave and leave and join notifications and any other additional uh, sounds that you may hear when you're playing on the server uh, then you want to go to tools uh, and then go to options go to capture and then you want to make sure that you've turned on push to talk and select your appropriate keybind mine is uh, always mouse button five click ok and then close out of this because we are now done with that process. We now need to go on to this website that I'll provide in the description, voip.itokoyomato.net. This is where we download all of the plugins. Uh, for the for the for for your team speak, you only need this one, which will be the one that ends in TS3 underscore plugin. These other two ones are for the server owner only, so you don't have to worry about those. Uh, make sure you always download the latest release. So we download this. Uh, save this. And then click this. Install. Yes. Restart TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak was closed, so it's properly installed. Um, now we need to boot up TeamSpeak again. And now what you need to do is you need to go to Plugins, Toco VoIP, uh, Radio FX. And sure you tick the Home box. Home is basically, um, if anyone speaks in the channel, it will put a radio effect on them if they're using the radio. A whisper and other you don't need to worry about. Um, to, to, to connect to the TeamSpeak, you need to be connected before you join the server. So you can go to connections, connect, and then put ts.nexusgta.com and then set a nickname. Nickname doesn't matter, it will get changed once you're in the server. Click connect. And you'll now be in the server. I'm going to come out of this um, connect from the server as I am going to show you how to do it through our client as well. So if we minimize to my desktop and open up the launcher, uh, this is basically makes everything a one click process. So one click to join the TeamSpeak, one click to join the server. It, it's up to you if you want to install it. It's not securely signed by Windows. So if you install it, it will say it may be a risk to your computer. That's fine. It's up to you if you want to trust it or not completely up to you um so what you need to do from here is then click teamspeak instantly installs uh, instantly opens your teamspeak and puts you into the server so now all you need to do is select the server i'm going to go to the training city as this currently is not the update is not pushed out yet but you will click main city enter the city Your game will automatically boot up. It may take some time to connect you to the appropriate server, but it will do. Wait for it to join us into the server. There we go. Uh, once you get into the server, obviously you'll be able to select your character and so on and so forth, but you will notice something different. You'll have a black backdrop. Uh, that'll be Toko VoIP. Um, once you select your character and everything like that, you'll then be able to read it properly, and it will tell you any additional information that you may need. However, if you've followed the steps that I have done, for example, clicked on the TeamSpeak on the launcher or connected it um, previously, then once you get into the server, it should automatically just detect that you're in the server, move you down to the next channel, and then you should be able to hear everyone appropriately in-game. As you can see, there's my alert. And then all of these 
couple of these should go green. If they don't all go green, which sometimes it doesn't happen. Oh, there you go. My old mine works perfectly. If they don't all go green and you've only got the middle one green, you will then need to tab out of your game. Go to TeamSpeak. Go to Plugins. Toco VoIP. And then click the Connect button. Sometimes, very, very rarely, you may need to do this. Uh, maybe a, it's a known bug by Toco VoIP. They might be pl planning on a fix. However, that is not up to us to fix. So it should be fine. So as you can see here, the waiting room is where people are currently in the server, but not actually inside the city. I am inside the city. And as you can see, it's put my uh, ID as six, which would correspond to my ID on the menu. I am now in game. Uh, I can use my push to talk. So I can, if you can see behind the top left, as you can see, I'm speaking in the city right now. My mouth moves and everything indicates that I'm talking. This is from the push to talk bind that we made earlier. And then to use radio is caps lock by default. Uh, to use a radio, you need to buy one from the store. Drag it to use. Set a radio frequency as 50. Submit. Escape. And now you can see that I'm talking on my radio. If, if there was someone else in the city, they would hear the radio effect on my voice. However, because I'm talking to myself, uh, no one's going to hear me. So that's basically the, the, the simple premise of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, hopefully that you got it all set up and, and you're all good to go. If you need any support, message someone in the support chat. We'll be bound to help you out. Uh, any additional questions, let us know. Thank you very much.